All right, good news tonight as pro-like activist Mark Houck was acquitted by a jury in Pennsylvania earlier today. This was after he was raided and arrested by the FBI, some 25 agents in September in front of his family, guns drawn, and he was charged with violating what's called the FACE Act. Now, for this altercation with a, if you take a look, with a Planned Parenthood escort. Now, as you can see in your upper left-hand corner, Mark, accompanied by his son, standing away from the entrance to the clinic when he is approached by the escort identified as Bruce Love, who repeatedly tried to antagonize Hauk, allegedly verbally harassing him and his son before Hauk eventually shoves him after multiple attempts to defuse the situation. The Planned Parenthood manual clearly states that escorts are not to antagonize or even engage with any protesters, a rule that love clearly broke. But this begs another question. Why is Biden's DOJ so fixated on taking down pro-life activists, but seemingly uninterested in the hundreds of attacks on pro-life centers around the country, or what's happening outside of Supreme Court justices' homes, for example? Mark joins us now, along with his attorney, Peter uh, Breen Whitmore is with us. Uh, thank you both for being with us. Mark, let's talk about this situation. So, first, the arrest part. And you got arrested. They had 25 agents, 15 cars, I read, uh, guns drawn. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. On September 23rd, about 6.45 in the morning, uh, that, that's uh, when those 20 so, so called agents, full SWAT gear, uh, heavily armored vests, ballistic shields, helmets, uh, battering ram, um, banged on my door. And your kids were inside, your wife was inside. Okay, l let's run the video here, and why don't you explain to people where you are in proximity to the Planned Parenthood facility, and this guy keeps coming up to you, and, and tell us what, what happens from your perspective. There's the guy in the yellow, and you're the guy that he's approaching. So what happened? Sure. So at this point, he's uh, he's about a foot away from my son uh, after already having one altercation with him. Uh, and now he's making my son extremely nervous. Uh, friends coming over uh, that's out there praying, redirecting him. Uh, my son moves behind me. I can tell he's visibly scared. Uh, there proceeds to be uh, further insults at me, directed at my son, about me. And um, and at this point, I I step in and I tell Mr. Love, you'll see right now, to, to go back to where he normally stands. So I walk him there and uh, tell him to stop talking to my son. He doesn't have any permission to talk to my son. Next thing I know, he turns around and he's talking to my son again, and then you see the push. Okay, so it's not the worst thing in the world, but didn't you face up to 11 years in jail for this? That's correct. Yes, I did. All right, let's, let me bring in, and I want to keep running this because... Uh, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm just a little old-fashioned, uh, Peter Breen, uh, and you're the attorney that won this case, but um, if a guy comes up to you repeatedly on the street and is a threat to you and your family, and you're not even in front of the facility, isn't he down the block from the facility? He was well away from the entrance. And the FACE Act, the federal act that they charged here, is about access to the clinics. It's not about dealing with issues down the sidewalk. And this issue should have been in the municipal court. It actually was. And the municipal court threw it out because Mr. Love wouldn't show up for trial. So right here today, what we did was win a big victory for the pro-life movement against the Biden administration. They were trying to scare pro-lifers from coming out on the sidewalks and being active. Biden, that DOJ sent their best prosecutor, the, the top guy for face prosecutions, from Washington to help deal with this case in Philly. And that jury, once we finally got it seated fully, uh, took about an hour to find Mark not guilty on all charges. Listen, I grew up watching the Broad Street Bullies and Dave Schultz and Hound Dog Kelly and Bobby Clark and Rick McLeish and all these guys and Bernie Perrant. I'm sorry, that push did not warrant 11 years in jail. However, th it was the Planned Parenthood guy that kept going up to him and I don't know, did he ever threaten you, Mark, at all? Uh, we, we've had many encounters over the years. Uh, it's been about 20 years that I've been out there. It's the first time he's really overstepped his bounds. Uh, with, and my son really was the, the bait for him. 
And, uh, he, you know, he says all he, he throws all sorts of insults, vulgarity at me and my son. And, uh, you yeah. know, I usually just let it flow off my back like a duck. All right. Well, I'm glad you won this case. Not Good this job. Way. And Peter, thank you. You're going to continue. I assume your activism. Now, now the question is, will the Biden DOJ go after those groups that are attacking pro-life organizations? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.